coaching. It's been an awesome journey so far. Jacob is an amazing student. Then their son's kindergarten. His curiosity and his thirst for learning. He's just full of spirit. I do not want to leave the school whatsoever. You know, everything happened very fast. Um, he was in and out of the doctor's office for ear infections and um, just common cold type stuff. And we went to a grocery store and uh, he collapsed. Um, pulmonary team just to kind of decided that, you know, homeschool was the best way to go. We all care for him and um, it was sad, you know, the friends missing him. And I didn't want him to miss school. Um, because he's sick. All of the students really care about Jacob and they want the best for him and they worry about him. So she would come home and talk about how there was a kid here who everyone missed. But this one student just kept talking about it at home and that made it happen. I was just talking about it. I didn't know he could do anything about it. And, and so I, I'm gonna tear up because it's just so special. At our agency down at Ohio State, we, in the fall, we obtained a couple of, of these devices and I never really put it all together, but when the more she told me about the case that was going on here at the school, I said, I think I might have something. Uh, essentially, this is FaceTime, so, but he's at school. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is, is he can actually move around. He doesn't have yeah. to stand in one place. That's the same kind of technology as a Segway, except you don't ride it. The only passenger is the iPad. You can control that robot from anywhere in the world. Kind of weird at first, but then I progressed on and knew how to control it. Oh, it's so exciting. The first day, he rolled up, and I got to go say hi and hug him around the little robot, and it was so much fun. But with home tutoring, you know, we'd have the tutor come out several days a week for a couple hours. And I mean, he liked it, don't get me wrong. I mean, there was someone new in the house because he wasn't allowed to have anybody in. But it still wasn't being around his friends. It still wasn't, you know, being able to talk with his teachers. And it just was something was missing. I think having control on when to get in there, when to go, and, you know, when to talk and use the same things he'd be using in school, raise his hand, things like that, mm -hmm. is something he really enjoys having. So, and he's mentioned it before. So. Well, going to school for kids is, is so much more than just the books and, le and learning and, and the information that you, that you take in. It's, it's so much of it is the social interaction. You go there to see your friends. Um, it's something that these kids go through together, and Jacob was removed from that. The great part about the double robot is that it, it allows you that interactive ability, that you can listen in, that you can see what's going on, and that you can you know, turn and, and move around and, and actually be engaged in the classroom just like everyone else. It's nice to see them in the morning time because normally I just sleep until 11. The fact that I'm waking up first thing in the morning, I still haven't gotten used to it yet, but I mean, I'm getting there.